All right, for all my star friends, friends, looky here. Yeah, I got this machine. You guys haven't seen this one. You guys seen my M9, you've seen the S9. Well, here's the C9. This is what I normally carry all the time. It's got some old, uh, you know, texturing on there. It's like a stick on. Uh, anyway, look at that machine work. Hey, sweet. I had this machine for the 507K because uh, I was hoping maybe I put it on there. This is from uh, U.S. Defense, um, U.S. Defense Arms, something like that. Uh, anyway, U.S. Defense and uh, also I'll put a picture with a link and their contact. So if you other Steyr guys are looking to have your stuff machined, I didn't want them to go too deep, so you notice it's pretty thin. But hey, you know what? Uh, it's fine with me. And I think it'll be fine. So guess what? Guess what's going to go on there for now? A little test. The otter. Arr, whatever. Yeah, that's more like a... Never mind. Anyhow, so here's the otter. And look at that. It fits on there. Really nice. Little wiggle, but once the screws are down, look at that. You know, the otter said it would fit. In that size, can't really do it two hands, but yeah, you, know, you get the idea. So I'm kind of excited. So it will go into this slot that they cut, and look at that, it's definitely locking on those front two posts, and that's great. So we're gonna go to uh, the range today. We're gonna find the fire the 10 mil with the uh, Zlusny, Zlusy, Zlusy. Uh, oak on the 10 mil Glock, and we're going to be shooting uh, this guy. So I'll have a report as I go back from the range. See how this holds up for at least 200 to 300 rounds, somewhere around there. I'll let you know what I think. And anyway, fun day. And here is uh, here's the Zalusny, uh Otter. So you can see it put on the gun. Yeah, we're clear. Um, you can see it's on the gun. See how it fits. It's got these, uh, you see those kind of outcroppings there? That's maybe like, you know, I've seen people rack their guns off of uh, tables and all kinds of crap. Maybe that's, you know, you can put your hand on the front of it. Uh, it is kind of interesting that way. But you can see how it fits. Again, I have it, see the distance? between like here and the front of the site. So we're gonna find out if rounds ejecting, if they're bouncing off that, causing kind of jam issue. Uh, we'll figure that out. Um, but anyway, I like the machine work. Uh, it's locked in, I've, I've got a blue lock tight on it. I did have to cut the gap here a little deeper and I may have done it too deep at this at this point. I don't know. Um, I won't worry about it right now, but maybe see it here. Yeah, there we go. So I probably cut it too far. But uh, you know, it's only $38, 40 uh inside the waistband holster. It's gonna work for now. Um and it it tends to hold. It definitely lost some of its ability to uh, grab the gun. I wanted to show you the difference. So here's the oak compared to the other. See how you got a lot more. Um, so there's just more setback. Here on the Glock, you got a lot more space, so the rounds can eject clear. Um, so that would be my only concern if you're looking at, you know, getting a sight, does it stick forward? Uh, really, those two ramps on each side, I think are just protecting the glass the best they can. Um, here you can see through the dot. So obviously my sights do not co-witness. But it's pretty close. The dot's really nice all around. My uh, shaky hands. Anyhow, 
Uh, there you have it. So we're going to be heading to the range hopefully later today and uh, get both these guns fired up. But there it is. <clears throat> See you later. Here we are. American Arms Gun Range. Indoor range. Right on the line. It's uh, in Bedford, Indiana. Great place to shoot. All right, we're breaking out the otter. Nine mil, got three mags. Got this target. Uh, so we're gonna see if it's actually zeroed. I didn't zero it or anything. So we're gonna see what happens here. I'm shooting like, uh, what is this? Gray line's 25 feet. So, 25 feet. We'll see what the first shots look like here. In just a sec. Was shooting uh, a little bit low. If I could deal with that in that range, uh, I might bring the sight. 150 rounds. All right, last 50 for the otter. There we go. Five, upper left. Oh. I'm putting a few more in this thing. Finish it off.
Okay. It's our last 50. Not too bad. Bottom right. I put uh, three 15 round mags in there. That's uh, pretty decent. Anyway, uh, the uh, oak here, it stayed on target. Uh, did fantastic. Keeping it down range. You can see, man, I shake. So I think as much as I shake, those shots will, will do what I need to do. Anyway, uh, the oak and the otter both did excellent today. Uh, my shooting is definitely not on par, but uh, that's the way it goes. Anyway, if you're looking to get this uh, otter, I'm definitely keeping mine. In fact, I'm just going to leave it on the gun. I was going to put a Holosun uh, 407K, um, you know, or 507K or something like that on there. But maybe I'll just leave this. Works great. All right, uh, we're back from the range, and um, I think I fired 260 rounds. Not quite 300, but 260 is enough, I think. Um, anyhow, the otter worked, uh, great. Um, I'll show you some footage of me shooting with it, at least like the last 50 or 60 rounds or whatever I fired. Um, but there's a dot, uh, the shake awake works great. It is dead on, dead on. Uh, you can see up here in the front, I want to show you. So you know how with the, uh, the tattoo site there was like a little bit of um carbon build up here on the glass so there's a little bit there i don't know if you can see that you can see it there in the in the distance there is some build up but uh not like the vitato had there also i was worried about rounds you know hitting up here and and, and popping back in and causing failure to feed or uh you know, a stovepipe type uh, operation. It's empty, as you can see. And that never happened. Um, this thing, it is awesome. Uh, for the price I paid, I think this is like 139 or maybe 169 or 159 something like that, 160 on Amazon. Uh, so far, man, uh, side door open just like a uh, Hall Sun. The clicks are uh, not so, not uh, audible, uh, you know, right away. But you, when you get your ear close, you can hear the clicks. Couldn't necessarily feel them. I, I did make some changes in the, I think all I had to change was, uh, I think I just had to change it a little bit to the left and uh, up on the target. And that's it. And it's just, man, uh, I was... For the most part, besides those shaky, I was putting the rounds uh, exactly where I wanted them. Uh, so, yeah. I may still consider putting the Holosun 407K on here and switching it with the uh, subcompact I have. Um, just because, I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyhow, uh, excellent. That's all I can say. So if you're looking to go nine mil, as a nine mil, I uh, shot it with a you know my just a bunch of various ammo, and then the majority of the rounds were fired with American Eagle, uh, 115 grain. Uh, I wasn't going all crazy with it, no plus P's or anything like that. Uh, there were some 40, 147 grains in there. It kind of and their steel case, aluminum case, brass kit, you know, you name it. I, I ran every kind of round uh, in that 250. 260 round test that uh, I could find. So you can see I still can't get all the carbon out of my fingers from loading mags because I ran this one in the 10 mil. So this is C9. This is my uh, everyday carry, my go to, and uh, you'll see in the footage. Anyhow, um, all I can say is yeah, the Otter, uh, definitely I'm keeping it. It's, it's, uh, Shake Wake works. Um, although it's, I wish it would make it a green dot, unfortunately, or even a multi reticle. That would be great. So uh, work on that one, Zalusi, and uh, give us a multi reticle.
That would be fantastic. Anyway, uh, if you want, comment on the bottom, ask me questions. Uh, if you subscribe, it'd be great. You know, all that cool YouTube influencer crap, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to be an influencer. I'm just trying to help you guys out with, um, you know, this is the gear I, I buy myself. And um, I couldn't find videos on stuff like this that I like. So I'm making the videos that I want to see. And hopefully you guys can take away something for you, or whether or not this is something you want to uh, defend your life with or carry. I'm going to, at least this one. And um, yeah, it's your choice. You know, any electronics can go bad. Uh, I work in the field of, of machines. Things fail. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's Trigicon or what, things fail. And that's just life. Uh, it's how you recover from that failure and situation always dictates. So uh, if you're going to defend your life with this, be prepared. And that's with any any kind of thing. If you're worried about uh, an optic going bad or something on you when you're defending your life, then just go iron sights and don't use an optic at all. Uh, so have faith in the machinery. Test it out yourself. I'm trying to do that for you. And... Um, I must say the otter is, is a good sight. Yeah, I'd like to dunk it in water, freeze it, you know, beat it up, bang it around, you know, actually do. I don't know, what would be combat, you know? <laughs> I, I don't know, I see these guys doing all this stuff, dragging them behind trucks and shit like that. That's not real world. I did, I did six years in the military. That's not real world. Uh, dragging them behind a truck, yeah, that, that just doesn't fucking happen. Oh, sorry for the language. That doesn't freaking happen. Um... Freezing it in water, okay, yeah, if you're in those kind of temperatures where, where your gear's going to be frozen out there and it's going to be in water, yeah, okay, uh, but that's that's not real. That's not real. Now, I've been in the desert in places where my canteen's froze solid. Yeah, if you had a gun on you and it was wet, it, it would freeze too, but you know what? My guns weren't wet then. Um, yeah, maybe up in the mountains where, you know, it gets negative 19 Colder than that sometimes. Uh, yeah, you could have snowpack in there or something like that. It would, But in that condition, that environment, I wouldn't probably use an optic like this. I'd just go irons. Or definitely something more ruggedized. But for everyday carry, that kind of thing, this otter sight, Zalusni sight, to me, is uh, it's going to be with me. So have a good one.